Hi, I'll be explaining the full functions of Calava Salon. Let's take a look at the overall features for the newbies of Calava Salon. When you log on to the app, the first screen you'll see is Clients. If you press Clients, you'll see the list of your customers like this. Type in the name of the customers you want to look up and you'll easily find them. By pressing this plus button, you can add more customers. My message stored messages that you often send to the customers. You can retrieve them whenever you need them. When you press the card, the message is stored, making it simple to send messages to customers. Well, if you're concerned about which message to send, you can refer to messages prepared by Calavas along below. Message cards are available in four different types at the moment and will be filled with cards that can be directly applied to the field. Next, let's look at the calendar tab. The calendar tab is where you can view the shop's entire schedule. To make the new reservation, just move on to the date you want to place the reservation, place on the service, and time, and the appointment is made. It is easy to adjust as well. Just hold on pressing this button and move it like this. Now your appointment is fixed. Back with our initial screen, you'll see this box in purple. This purple box is a reservation made online by the customers. As you can see, you can get an online reservation through the booking link if you use the Calava Salon. This is the personal time section. You can enter the time to spare for yourself so the customers do not interfere with your personal hours. Let's go to the third, Sales tab. Well, can you see the total sales today marked at the top? The percentage next to it shows how sales have changed today compared to the average sale of last 40 days. And on the right, you can see sale changes for a week in a graph. Press to see the sales trend. If you press the day like this, you can check it in more detail on a daily basis. If you go back to look at the top, you'll see appointment and product and GC. Appointment is handy when you register your forgotten treatment. You can use product and GC to record non-service sales such as product sales, repaid rights, and training expenses. If you look at the treatment timeline below, you'll see the checkout button next to it. Press checkout after selecting the appropriate item to simply finish entering the sales. Fourth, the stats tab. The first graph you see is the target sales graph. If you enter your target revenue, it will display your weekly achievements. The second is payment options graph. You can separate between the sales made with the cash and made with the credit card. The third is the top service graph, where you see the share of sales of service provided. The last one is client graph. It shows the ranking of sales by customer. Uh, you can also click on duration in the upper right corner to view statistics for the past month. Fifth, setting tab. You can set the overall information of online booking, salon management, and salon profile. Well, this is it. The first video went very lightly. Once you get to know more about the Caleva Salon, the more helpful it is. From the next video, I'll be explaining each function in full detail.